In the previous module, we already discussed how to create pivot charts. In this module, we are going to have a wider discussion around Excel charts. We have a couple of data sets. In the first data set, we have the sales by month. And then in the second data set, we have the sales by country. How do we create Excel charts using this information? The concept is essentially the same. We will first highlight the data that we want to graphically depict. So let's say that I have selected the sale by month. I'll go in the insert option and I see that there are a number of options available to me under the charts category. So firstly, let's explore the recommended charts option. I really like this option because it provides you with a number of recommendations when it comes to charting. The first one is a line graph that we can use. Then I have the clustered column graph that is illustrating the sales by month. I have a stacked area chart. I have a funnel chart. And I also have a Pareto chart. Let's say we select the funnel chart. And just like that, we have created a chart. Another really interesting option is the chart design option. As you scroll through the chart design options, you will see that the format of the chart changes. It makes you look like a pro. But all you're doing is you're scrolling through the options and the format of the chart is changing. And you can select the most appropriate one. Let's evaluate the recommended charts we get if I select the second data set. I'll go in the recommended charts section. So I got a number of chart options over here. I can select the one that I want. Let's say I want to have the clustered column chart. So I'll select this chart and hit OK. So I have a clustered column chart over here and I have a funnel chart graphically depicting the sales by month. And I have a sales by country chart depicting the second data set. We can quickly update the chart title by clicking on the chart title. So this chart is sales by month. So we can just type it in. Second chart is sales by country. So we just select the chart title and type in sales by country. Let's say that I don't like any of the recommended charts that were presented by Excel and I want to create a scatter plot. So I can select this chart over here. This is called the scatter chart. I can select the type of scatter chart that I want. Let's say I just go with the, a simple scatter plot. I select this. Currently, this is blank. That's because I need to select the data set that I want to map on the Excel chart. So I can select the data set by clicking on my current chart, clicking on the select data option over here. Now I can select the chart data range, click over here, and I'll select the range that I want. I'll hit OK. And that is what the scatter plot looks like for sales by month. We can edit this to say sales by month. Let's just call it scatter in the brackets. So using this chart, we can easily see the sales development on a monthly basis. If you look closely, you might notice the x-axis is going up to 14. This is sales by month, and we only have 12 months in a year. So we can easily update the axis as well. So all we need to do is we click on the axis and then we right click. Then we go in the format axis option. And over here, you will see that under the axis options, the bounds are from zero to 14. We can just adjust this to say 12. And we go back to our chart. And there we go. Now we have 12 months and we have the scatter plot illustrating the sales by month. The sixth month of the year or June was where we had the most sales and then it dropped and then sales improved again. So by using these charts, we can easily analyze the data. In the second chart, for example, we can easily note that the sales in Australia are lagging the other countries. In this chart, we will notice that July through September are the weakest months when it comes to sales. We have fairly consistent sales in the other months of the year. In this module, we discussed how to create Excel charts to graphically depict the data. By graphically depicting data sets, we can easily summarize key findings, be it sales by country, by product, or by month. Excel charts are very easy to use. All you need to do 
is to work with a variety of different data sets so you can understand what type of chart to use based on the data set you have. If you're not a subscriber, click down below to subscribe so you get notified about similar videos we upload. To see the full course that this video came from, click over there. And click over there to see more videos from Simon Says It.